up guys, I'm Josh Mosman. Welcome to This Week in MXA, episode number 164, I think it is, presented by O'Neill Racing. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm on the new Gas Gas E CC6 electric mountain bike. This thing is pretty trick. Uh, we'll talk more about that in just a second, but this weekend we got the World Two Stroke Championship coming to Glen Helen Raceway. Today is Tuesday we're filming this video, and there's a lot of factory, not factory, but fast guys on two strokes here today. Trevor Stewart was out there, Justin Heft was out there, Ryan Villapoto out there, Carson Brown was out there. We got to talk to a couple of them. Let's hear from them now. All right, guys, we're here at Glen Helen spying on Carson Brown right now as he's currently in the middle of trying to decide between a Suzuki and a Yamaha to race this weekend. Let's go see if we can get an interview with the man himself. See if we can sneak up on him here. We're out here trying to decide right now. What, what's your take on it? Well, you looked pretty trick on the yellow one, pulling away from Ryan Villapoto. But the blue one does look pretty cool. I think I think the fans would honestly like to see you on a Suzuki more. I'm, I'm good either way. Either way, they're both two-strokes, so I'm happy. So whichever whichever one gets picked, I'm gonna be smiling the whole way around the track. Both 500s? Uh, 300 and 500. 300, 500. So last year, it was the Yamaha 300 that took you to the win. Yeah. You battled hard, and uh, now this year you're trying to decide what What's done to both of these bikes? What's inside the engines? Yeah, so this right here started as a YZ252 stroke. It got the uh, BRC YZM500 kit. Um, thing absolutely ripped, like shreds up and down the hills. The most fun two stroke to ride ever. And then over there, it's a uh, RMZ with a KTM 300 carbureted motor in it. Wow. So um, both bikes are super sick. Uh, super fun. We're dialing in both of them. Uh, Jamie from Twisted, uh, that's his bike, and then he helped us dial in uh, this 500 as well. So uh, just kind of getting them fine tuned, and we'll see which one we race. Like either way, both of them are super sick, so I'm happy. Nice. Carson and I are cut from a little bit of the same cloth, and I'm trying to say that to pump myself up because this guy can ride anything fast, and he's kind of last minute. Uh, I can, I can go kind of fast, but. I relate to him more in the last minute preparation type stuff. Yeah. So, uh, so last minute preparation, well, that's what's going on right now. When are you going to decide? It's uh, Tuesday right now, the race is on Saturday. Hopefully today, you know us, we'll probably decide the morning of. Yeah, right but, practice and then switch it up. Yeah, yeah, you, you know the deal, but yeah. Um, yeah, either way, they're both good bikes. Who knows, maybe one one moto, one the other moto for all I know. <laughs> What's, uh, who, who's gonna be your biggest competition this weekend? You know, honestly, I have no idea. Um, Smart. Yeah, I mean, we got Heft. I saw Trevor Stewart out here again. I don't know if Serrat's showing up. Bill Poto's here. Um, it be could be one. somebody random. I mean, we're in California, so like anybody can borrow a bike and be really fast. Yeah. That's usually what happens. It's yeah. like some random guy shows up that you're not ready for. So nice. um, we're feeling more prepared this year, more healthy, and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. All right, and you got two pretty cool videos you just released. One battling with Ryan Del Poto, and the other one riding in four different seasons. How cool is it to work with Red Bull and like be able to put out such awesome stuff like that? Uh, it's been super fun, just uh, sick opportunities riding with uh, yeah, a bunch of different dudes on a bunch of weird bikes. And uh, yeah, I went to Utah, did the Four Seasons thing, and that was super fun, just kind of getting to show you know what, what we do and riding in all different conditions. So it's definitely been like a, a cool program, and we've got some cool stuff coming up for you guys. Well, you can check out more videos on his channel, and you can see him racing this Saturday at the World Two Stroke Championship. Ryan Villapoto is racing this week, and that is another huge reason why you should be 
coming to the race this weekend or if you're not local, why you should tune in to the Dirt Bike Magazine live stream because we're gonna have the Pasha 150 Open Pro Motos live streamed and the Open Pro Motos with this guy racing on a YZ252 stroke. Ryan, how excited are you to race this weekend or are you a little uh, tentative about it? No, I'm excited uh, to get behind the gate. It's been been quite a quite a while, um, especially on a modern bike, you know, or newer newer bike. So yep. I'll get behind there. I'll give her hell for, I don't know, we'll see until my arm blows up. And, <laughs> and, uh, just go out and have fun and, and uh, you know, race with the guys and then, you know, not end up on the ground. That's that's kind of the goal, you know. We, I don't race a lot anymore and, and ride a, a little bit. Um, you know, I, I mentioned to, to a few guys, ex-racers, Ricky, some other guys, who are like, dude, you're nuts for going out there and racing. And I'm like, you gotta get the adrenaline going every once in a while. Yeah, that's cool. That's good stuff. Well, I'm stoked he's coming to get the adrenaline going. Uh, you're raffling off the bike, right? Yeah. So this is a fast house bike. It's a YZ250. Mitch, Schneike, Luke, I'm guessing, did the suspension and yep. engine. Yep, um, yeah. What's up? What's it all about? Yeah, so it's a, a 2024 YZ250. Uh, we pulled the head and cylinder. Mitch gra uh, gra did the head, did the cylinder. Um, and Eddie Larratt put uh, everything back together. Uh, Luke did the suspension. Um, you know, so we have uh, all the partners involved, PSD, 805, Pro Circuit, Hinson, um, Lightspeed. The bike's really, really bitchin', W wheels. So, um, you know, it's a really, really good platform. And uh, this is my second time getting to, to ride it, just fine tune it a little bit for, 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 for my liking and, uh, and then come out and race it on, on Saturday, Sunday. And then how can people win the bike? Yeah, so uh, Fast House has a raffle going on um, and you just basically put your email, your information in and uh, we will be picking, you know, the, the lucky winner for that. So no, no transaction, no money involved, anything like that. It's just a pure raffle uh, that we have built, put together. Um, you know, with the with the Fast House crew, and it's uh, I, I'm glad to be a partner with them. They do they do these really cool um, things like this, like that I that I can be a part of, which is building this bike, getting the parts together, and, and uh, getting a good group of people around me, and uh, coming out and having some fun on Saturday Sunday. Sweet. All right, two stroke time this weekend. But uh, one question off topic, you just went to the MotoGP race in Austin this past weekend. That was your first time there, right? So first it's been my, uh, I went to Catalonia, Spain, uh, six, seven years ago. Okay. So it's been a, been a, been a long time in yeah. um, technology and things like that. So yes, I just got back yesterday from MotoGP. I spent five days in, in Austin, just kind of cruising, checking everything out. And, uh, what was that like? What was the experience like? Honestly, it's uh, it's an amazing experience. If you if anybody ever has the opportunity to go check a MotoGP race out, please do it. Um, it is the highest level form of, of two wheel motorsports. Period. In in my eyes, um, you know the technology behind these and that's that goes into these motorcycles um, it will bl seriously blow your mind. Um, I know Supercross is at a high level and completely different. Um, but when, even at the level that I was at Supercross and got to in riding factory motorcycles um, all around the world, when you go there, it it's, it's opens your eyes dramatically uh, from the difference between what we do and what they do. That's cool. All right. Well, cool to hear you had a good time there. Yeah. Going to be fun to watch you race this weekend. Yeah, yeah. It should be real good. All We've right. got some good weather coming and uh, track should be good. Track got a lot of moisture from it looks like this weekend. Yeah, it's nice right now. So I think that we're going to have a really, really bitching weekend. See? All right. See you guys there. All right. We're here with Justin Heft. This guy is dangerous on the track. Watch out because he is crazy fast and not scared to send it. We've rubbed elbows quite a few times over the years and uh, it's pretty, I'm, I'm happy that you're racing just a big class and we're not racing the same class because we always, uh, we've, had some, we've had some good run-ins. You're pretty gnarly, dude. Yeah. So you're, he won the Works Championship last year. Pretty impressive there, won the 450 Championship and the Works Series last year. He didn't race two-stroke championship last year and now he's back this year in the Open Pro class and uh, you're on, what are, what are you riding? I'm riding uh, the Twisted Development Fast House Yamaha. Dude, that thing looks looks pretty strict. Jamie Ellis is here tuning on it, so we know it's going to be running good. Stoked to get on the two-stroke. I haven't ridden it in a few years, but I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Let's go. I work at Universal Studios for Action Horizon Stunts, and uh, we do a little bit of acting, a little bit of fighting, That's a little cool. bit of jet skiing yeah. um, on the side. So. It keeps me in good shape and uh, it keeps me having fun. That's cool. I've been doing it for a year now, so. It's pretty sick. It's I'm, super sick. You're jumping like super high on that thing too, right? Yeah, we do, uh, we do high falls, jet skiing, fighting, acting. We kind of do a little bit of it all. So That's cool. It's been super fun. It's, uh, it's a learning curve for me coming from Moto, you know? Yeah. It's, it's so much different, but 
Yeah. It's enjoyable and it's, it's just keeping it fun. Shelby, what is the key to the Two Stroke National this weekend? I think it's gonna be a good start. Gonna make making sure you have all two strokes with you. All two strokes. All you don't really yeah. have one of them at home. Don't want to leave them. And you don't want to bring two extra ones. No, you don't. Yeah. Um, they'll probably disqualify you. Um, don't forget your fast fast boots. Definitely bring your fast boots. Okay. Like mine have vents in them, so I can go even faster. Yeah. Less Light, drag. Lighter weight too. Yeah. Lighter weight. Yeah. All right. Good luck this weekend. But I'm not racing. <laughs> good times talking to those guys here today. Big money on the line for the Two Stroke Championship this weekend. Pasha is putting up big money in the 150 Open Pro class, the 30 plus 150 class, and the 50 plus 150 class this weekend. I usually try to do both classes the last couple of years, Open Pro and the 125 Pro, but this year I'm just sticking with the 150 class. I'm riding one of Pasha's 150 KTMs. Excited about that. Um, it's the carbureted KTM, so the thing rips. Had some fun riding it recently and excited to race it. 150 Open Pro, they're paying $2,000 for the winner, $1,000 for second, $500 for third, $400 for fourth, and $300 for fifth. They're also doing a similar payout in the 30 plus and the 50 plus 150 Open Pro races, but they don't get $2,000 to win, they only get $1,500 to win. So last year, Ryan Moraes got the win. I got uh, second overall, I think. Michael SC was third. Um, this weekend, Ryan Moraes, Michael SC are showing back up. Rob Holyoke, he's a European rider from the UK. He's coming over here and he's gonna be racing on one of Pasha's bikes. Also, Matt Burkeen, he's gonna be in flying out here and he's gonna race on one of Pasha's bikes. He hit me up the other day and uh, I'm excited to have him out here racing with us. Also, Ezra Lewis, he's gonna be riding on one of Pasha's new Fantic 125s. Excited for him. And uh, of course, Michael Lessi, Ryan Moraes, those guys are gonna be ripping this weekend. So looking forward to the 125 class, open pro class. They're paying the top 10. Um, lots of fast riders in that one. Excited to see who does best. Dirt Bike Magazine, they're gonna be doing a live stream of both Open Pro Motos and the Pasha 150 Open Pro classes. Um, you can watch the motos live on Saturday starting at 11 a.m. on the Dirt Bike Magazine YouTube channel. And if you can't catch it live, if you're out riding yourself or if you're at the Nashville Supercross, you can watch it afterwards on the Dirt Bike Magazine YouTube channel. So be sure to check it out over there. This Gas Gas ECC6 electric mountain bike is crazy. It retails for $10,000. Now, yes, I know that's way, way too much for a bicycle, but it's really smart. It's got electronic shifting, which isn't new technology for mountain biking, but it does have a smart technology, which shifts for you on the track. It's got auto shifting. Kind of crazy. I went for an hour and a half mountain bike ride at the Greer Mountain Bike Trails up in Menifee uh, about a week ago, and I did not touch the shift lever one time. It shifted up when it noticed that I was spinning too fast. It shifted down when I was putting a lot of torque through the bike, and it noticed that I needed to shift down. So uh, pretty cool that it's got a brain inside the motor that tells you when to shift up and down, and it actually does it for you. Of course, it's got WP suspension. This is brand new for electric mountain bikes and brand new for the Gas Gas brand. Gas Gas is owned by the KTM group, of course, Pure Mobility. They own Gas Gas mountain bikes. They also own Husqvarna electric mountain bikes. And now they own Felt road bikes, but they don't own the KTM mountain bikes. That's actually owned by a separate company. Same brand, same logo, same colors, but not owned by the KTM that we all know for motocross. So I'm having a ton of fun on this thing. Had a fun time mountain biking at Greer the other day, and I'm excited to put some more time on it in the coming weeks. Also, pretty awesome deal going on right now for the month of April, so it's kind of running out. But uh, if you buy a brand new Gas Gas dirt bike, a 450 or another model, you'll get a Gas Gas electric mountain bike. Now you won't get this $10,000 high-end ECC6 model, but you will get a lower level model Gas Gas electric mountain bike, which gets you into the world of electric mountain biking. So uh, pretty wild stuff cool deal going from gas gas for the month of april also this weekend is the nashville supercross it's the 250 east west shootout it's going to be an exciting one and it's the first time in the season where the 450 championship is tied on points jet lawrence and cooper webb are going to be both sharing the red plate this weekend it was awesome race last weekend in foxborough now i'm excited for nashville this weekend uh 250 east west shootout that's going to be an exciting one as well as they put hayden deegan up against the two pro circuit boys levi kitchen leading the 250 west coast championship and cameron mcadoo leading the 250 
East Coast Championship. A lot of points to be made up or lost this weekend in, in Nashville, so exciting for that. We're gonna be covering the Nashville Supercross on our website, Instagram, and we're gonna be covering the World Two Stroke Championships here at Glen Helen, so busy times. Sign up for the MXA Fantasy League app, free to download, free to play, and put in your picks before this weekend for the Nashville Supercross. We got some awesome prizes at the end of the year, and prizes for this weekend is a free MXA digital subscription to our digital magazine. Also for our sister publications, Dirt Bike Magazine, Dirt Wheels, and Mountain Bike Action. So uh, get signed up, MXA Fantasy League, free to play, free to download, see you there. Also this past weekend, I raced the California Classic Amateur National here at Glen Helen. Busy times here in the MXA Wrecking Crew. I had a lot of fun. Uh, we raced on Saturday, dry weather. I was around the seventh, eighth place on Saturday. Sunday, I was riding a little bit better, top five in the morning moto, and then had a mistake, went off the track. So I finished, I think, ninth in that one too. The last moto in the mud, that was super fun. I have some clips from Cal Classic. Let's, uh, let's go check it out now. two laps to go. I lost all my tear-offs and I got roosted by a lapper. Such a bummer. Third place for six laps, I think. And I lost my goggles. I, I couldn't see anything for like two straightaways. So I let two guys pass me. I got fifth place. At least I get to go into the top five tent right here and have a lot of fun playing in the mud. Thank you motocross action that I do not have to pay for this bike. I do not have to pay for this clutch or for any of this because this is a brutal day for motocross. Pretty convenient to have uh, some hoses here. Let's see what Dennis is up to. I got my bike already super clean. Just trying to get all the caked on mud off. Oh, uh, you're toasting. Don't toast that one. <laughs> Dennis, how was it? It was pretty good. Yeah? Uh, I got splashed some puddles. Uh, my roll off made it all moto which is impressive because I don't build roll-offs all the time. Nice. And the Honda was pretty good. And the 82 tires worked well. Nice. Yeah, you got 80 Dunlop AT82s on here. Yeah. Not a bad day. KTM, yeah. uh, KTM uh, jacket. <laughs> Honda bike. Honda bike. Test, Test rider. rider life. Test rider life. All right, guys. Good times this week in MXA. Hope to see you at the World Two Stroke Championships this weekend. If you're not coming, be sure to check it out live on the Dirt Bike Magazine YouTube channel. And uh, wish me luck. I won the first moto last year, but I did not win the second one. So hopefully I can do a little better. <laughs> <laughs>